Here we're explaining how to do some spraying techniques. And what I'm doing with these spraying techniques is understanding that if I have too much water in this pressure tank, it won't get enough pressure to maintain the spray to do the length of spraying on it. So please be careful, do not overfill your spraying equipment. The other part about it is when you're under, under pressure, you have a dribble out of the nozzle, but you have good pressure, you have a good spray pattern. And that is what is required from the spray tip to maintain a good spray pattern to that 6502, 6501, or 4002, or 4001 tips, which we generally use in pest control. So maintaining a good head of pressure gives you a good treatment. So we can show that when we get the pressure up in our spray equipment, we're gonna get a good spray treatment, a good spray pattern. And this is gonna demonstrate the point of runoff. Point of runoff is over spraying, so it drips down the wall. We're using too much chemical, it's, it's not economical. Whereas if we do a nice spray, a nice even spray, the insect gets time to get involved and it walks across and still picks up a lethal dose. It won't hit it and drop dead where it is. It'll pick up a dose and about two hours later, it'll be on its back wriggling around because it's picked up that insecticide and done it. So I just want to spray quickly on this area here. That is a nice spray pattern of just to the point of runoff. We haven't got any dribbles or drizzles. We have a nice area there. But if we were to spray to the point of runoff or past the point of runoff, we actually get a really wet, uneconomical spray. So you can see it dripping down the walls there compared to here where we've got no runs. We've still got enough insecticide, which is economical to be spraying. We're not wasting chemical or wasting money.